In example 4, we're asked to uh, solve 8x cubed plus 10x squared minus 39x plus 9 equals 0. And we're going to do this by synthetic division. So there's the coefficients of our equation. And of course, uh, uh, try uh, factors of the 9. Uh, you could uh, graph this and find out what the x-intercepts are, and that was a really quick way to get those numbers. Negative 3 uh, is a, a factor of 9, so we'll try that. Bring the 8 down and multiply by negative 3, which is negative 24. Added to the 10 is negative 14. Negative 14 times negative 3 is 42. Added to the negative 39 is positive 3. And 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Uh, giving us a remainder 0 when you add the 9 and negative 9. So that worked. So uh, negative 3 works, so x plus 3 is a factor. So there's our equation. So since negative 3 worked, x plus 3 is a factor. And so 8x squared minus 14x plus 3 is the trinomial factor that's left. And I could continue the synthetic division. But I want to show in this example uh, just factoring this quadratic by normal methods without synthetic division. And so in order to uh, solve 8x squared minus 14x plus 3 equals 0, or to factor this quadratic, we need to find two numbers that add to negative 14 and then multiply to 8 times 3 is 24. And so we can use that idea to factor that trinomial. The two numbers that work here are negative 12 and negative 2. Negative 12 and negative 2 add to negative 14, and they do multiply to positive 24. And so we'll break that negative 14x down to negative 12x and negative 2x, leaving the 8x squared alone at the beginning and the 3 in the end. Now the common factor in 8x squared minus 12x, the first two terms is 4x. So factoring a 4x out of these first two terms, we get 2x minus 3. The only factor in the last two terms is just a negative 1. So we factor a negative 1 out, and then this would be 2x, and of course dividing 3 by negative 1, we get minus 3. Notice what's in the two parentheses are the same. And so, don't forget your x plus 3 factor on the left here. 2x minus 3 factors out, and what's left after you factor the 2x minus 3 out will be 4x minus, and there's a 1 here, so 4x minus 1. So we have three different factors, so there's three different roots to this cubic equation. And so if we set x plus 3 to 0, we'll get negative 3, because negative 3 plus 3 makes 0. If we set 2x minus 3 equal to 0, remember, bring the 3 over, divide out the 2, and so you get 3 halves. And the same with the 4x minus 1. Solving for x, uh, add 1 to both sides, you get 4x equals 1. Divide out the 4 and you get a quarter. Now this uh, quadratic factored, which means you could have actually continued the synthetic division if you had um, a number that worked. And remember, you could try any factors of the 3 over the 8, or the 3 over the 8. Okay, So for example, you could have, if you saw this, uh, 3 halves should work here. Uh, factors of 3 over 8 are, for example, 3 over 2, because 2 is a factor of 8. So 3 halves should work. And I want to just demonstrate that. Bringing the 8 down and multiplying 8 by 3 halves, 3 halves times 8 um, is actually 24 over 2, or 12. And so negative 14 and 12 add to negative 2. And we multiply negative 2 by 3 halves. The uh, 2 and the negative 2 divide out leaving 3 times negative 1. And so you get negative 3 and a remainder of 0. So if you had done this instead of this factoring over here, then what you would have got is negative 3 worked, so x plus 3 is a factor. 3 halves worked, so x minus 3 halves is a factor. And 8 and negative 2 in the bottom means that the other factor is 8x minus 2. And so the uh, there's a common factor of of 2 here, and so if we factor the 2 out of here, leaving, that leaves 4x minus 1, and multiply the 2 into this binomial, you'll get 2x 3 halves times 2 is 3. Same three factors as over here, so same three solutions. So just a couple different methods of doing this. Flipping over to the last example, we're asked to uh, solve this quartic equation, and so putting the coefficients of the equation in our synthetic division here, and of course, uh, try factors of 12. Actually, factors of 12 over 4 could work. 
uh, factors of 12 are where I would start though. And a number that actually works is negative 2. Negative 2 certainly divides into 12. Once again, if you had a, qua um, a graphing calculator, you could graph this and look for x-intercepts. Those are numbers that will work. Uh, bringing the 4 down, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And 12 and negative 8 add to positive 4. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Again, 3 and negative 8 add to negative 5. Negative 5 times negative 2 is 10. And negative 4 and 10 add to 6. And 6 times negative 2 is, of course, negative 12. Adding to positive 12 gives you 0. So x plus 2 is a factor of this quartic. Now, another thing I want to show other than solving this is that sometimes you can have a double root. And so because negative 2 work, don't exclude it, uh, negative 2 still divides into the constant the end of 6. So it could work again. In fact, it does actually. So we'll put a negative 2 here, bring the 4 down, and negative 2 times 4 is well, another negative 8. Uh, 4 and negative 8 add to negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. We're going to positive 8 this time. Negative 5 and 8 add to 3. And 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And so that adds to 0, remainder 0 again. So negative 2 worked twice. We actually have a double root there, or a double factor. And so here's our quadratic equation. I'm just copying down the original one. And negative 2 worked twice. So when we factor this, we get x plus 2 squared. And then what's left here, 4, negative 4, 3, is 4x squared minus 4x plus 3. Now, we could try to factor this the same way we did the uh, quadratic on the last page. But there are no numbers that add to negative 4 and multiply to positive 12, 12 being the product of 4 and 3. And so we could try to use the quadratic equation to solve this. So there's the quadratic equation. Of course, a is 4, b is negative 4, and c is 3. And so we plug in the 4, negative 4, and 3 in place of a, b, and c. And it looks like this. And so simplifying all that, Underneath the radical, negative 4 squared is 16, and 4 times 4 times 3 is 48. So 16 minus 48. And notice there's a problem here. Well, not really a problem, but 16 minus 48 is negative 32. And we have a negative value underneath the radical. And so there are no real solutions to 4x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. If you want, again, to get into complex numbers, you could write that as complex roots. But in this note, we're only going to focus on real roots. So from the x plus 2, no real roots there. But from the x plus 2 squared, though, we could set x plus 2 equal to 0 and solve for x and, of course, get negative 2. So since there's no real roots here, the only root is actually negative 2. So if we were to graph this quartic, we'd find that it touches at negative 2. Otherwise, it doesn't intersect the x-axis at all. Negative 2 is the only solution. And that's the end of the lesson.